Hello there. Now we are going to see regarding program for compile and run C program in virtual machine. For that, we have to open the Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager and we have to select file and select the option import appliance. Before that, what is the requirement over here is we have to create a virtual machine uh, using Ubuntu and we have to load the GCC compiler tool for compiling our C program. For uh, time saving, here I have demonstrated only for the running of C program. So what are the steps needed for this one is first we, we are in need of the requirement that is the creation of virtual machine with the GCC tool loaded within the virtual machine. So that should be done clearly and we have to store that particular virtual machine in our system as an image. So that system image now we have to download. So for uh, we have to se select for creation of the virtual machine. For that we have to select file import appliance. So we have to select this folder icon over here for selecting the virtual machine image. So if you are clicking the folder icon it will be shown our explorer window. So from that we can select the corresponding OVA file which I already have mentioned as we have to select the uh, we have to create the virtual machine with Ubuntu 15 version and we have to load the GCC tool which is already to be done. We have to make the virtual machine image. So this is our virtual machine image already created which is highlighted over here. So the same OVA file I have to open over here. I have select the open. Then we have to click the next button. So in this we have to select the import button. No need to make any changes over here. Make it as it is. It will take some minutes of time according to your system configuration. The configuration used in this system is i3 machine with 8 GB RAM and 1 GB uh, 1 TB hard disk. So uh, according to your uh, systems configuration, it will take the time for loading our virtual machine. So when this, this uh, actually shows the progress of loading the virtual machine image. So let us see meanwhile the steps for the creation of virtual machine image. So for the creation of virtual machine image, we have to download the Ubuntu 15.1 ISO file from the net and we have to create the virtual machine using Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager and add the storage controller uh, which we have downloaded the ISO file, we have to map with the virtual machine what we, we are creating. And to include in the C compiler, we have to start the virtual machine first, which we have created already, and using this Ubuntu 15.1. And we have to go to the terminal mode, and we have to type as this command, that is sudo apt get install build essential. So if you are clicking this, start typing this command and press the enter key, we will be, that uh, virtual machine will be loaded with this particular tool, that is GCC tool. Uh, which will be installed in our virtual machine. The only option is we should have the internet connection in our system. So this is the actual requirement we are in need of before going to the C program execution. So after creation of this virtual machine with GCC compiler only, we are doing these steps, actual steps that only I am demonstrating right now.
so now the virtual machine is ready to get uh, working now we have to select this virtual machine and click the start button So we are loaded with the virtual machine. Since we have to load the entire Ubuntu OS in our virtual machine, it will take some amount of time for loading completely. That is, I have given over here as a steps. So we have to open the virtual box manager, select the file import appliance option. Uh, which we have created already with this particular image and we have to import select these options what I have displayed right now. Now it is the virtual machine is completely loaded. You can see over here with the Ubuntu 15.1 yes. already I have created the super user in the virtual machine that account is also displayed over here. The password we have to type first to enter into this virtual machine and then press the enter key. So after giving the password correct, we are loaded with the actual desktop of the corresponding virtual machine. You can see the version of the Ubuntu what we have loaded 14.1. Whatever the normal screen we are getting in the Ubuntu 15.1 will be displayed over here. So after that we have to select, we have to go for terminal mode. For that we have to select this icon. We will get into this screen. Now we have to type terminal. Whatever we want to execute is we have to give in the command prompt mode. So first we have to go to the terminal mode. So by typing terminal and pressing the enter key, you will be getting into the terminal mode. So what actually given over here is our actual user what we are logged in. Now we have to uh, type sudo nano temp1.c. Here temp1.c is the actual C file what we want to create. Nano is actually the editor, text editor, text editor available in the Ubuntu system. Press enter key now. It will be asking for super users password. We have to enter the super users password again. Now you will get into the screen which is our nano text editor. Here we can type the sample program what we want to execute so I have given a sample C program it is up to us how we are going to do the coding I want to make it simply so I am giving only a single line in this C program. So for saving we have to press Ctrl O combination A and press enter key now. So you can see the status of the file that is given over here that is wrote 6 lines means we have saved the file content now. We have to quit this uh, text editor for that we have to press Ctrl X. Now we are getting it out of our text editor. The next step is we have to compile the C program using GCC tool. GCC is nothing but GNU compiler collection. So we have to type GCC and we have to give the name of our C program that is temp1.c and we have to give minus o flag for 
giving the output file then give some output file option let us have the output file option as output one and press enter key now the c program will get compiled and for running the c program we have to type dot slash and output one which we have already given the output file name. you can see the output of the c program right the content can be displayed by using the cat command you can see the matching of our output with our actual c program over here so it is very easy to compile and run a c program within the virtual machine the same situation whatever we have got in the actual machine we can get in our virtual machine also and we can able to carry out the actual execution of all our programs in our virtual machine easily so we can after compiling this one we have to quit proper type exit and if you want to close the virtual machine we have to select the shutdown option and we have to properly shut down the machine we should not close the machine by clicking this close button option which given over here we have to properly shut down even though if it is a virtual machine so we have to select the shutdown option here and we are closing the system right now closing this option now i have displayed i will display the actual steps what we have to follow over here which i have followed for the explanation right now the actual steps i have given over here thank you for listening